Hi everybody, um, this is going to be a combined sort of um, today in my Bujo junk journal, Just I just want to get a couple of things done. First off what I did was um, I wrapped some presents, I bought some presents today, uh, we've got a birthday party tomorrow and a birthday party next week. So I've wrapped them and then I made these tags, which I was really, really pleased with. And this was so simple to do. This is wrapping paper backed with card, okay? And then all I did was I got my set of, I've got a set of six of these and it wasn't this size, it was the next size down, um, this one. And I just cut strips, this is an A4 piece of card and I got enough um, pieces, enough tags. So I've got five there and I've done three presents. So yeah, really, really pleased with that. So these are gonna go away. I need to make an ephemera book to tuck things like this in out of the way. Now, today, because I've been buying presents, I want somewhere, oh, this is Ali. This is one of the things we bought for Dad yeah, today. Yeah, two and one more. I'll go and get it then. Okay. And this goes in there like that, and then you shoot it <laughs> like that, and it goes fucking miles. And the dog's probably been terrorised while I've been in here. So I need somewhere in my journal of you bought your bike in. So this is his bike. And then the Spider-Man sits on the bike like this. Yeah. Okay, right. Go on then. Take that. Where's this web? There. Oh, yeah. Right, go watch your film then while I do a bit of journaling. Okay. And, what and I want to keep um, something in my book for receipts. So I thought I would make a pocket. I love this. This is gorgeous. I pulled this out of one of my paper pads. Now, this is quite a wide receipt. So, I was thinking I could make this sort of in the style of my um, envelopes, but I won't have enough. Um, what's what I'm looking for? I won't be able to fold it there won't be enough room so i'm gonna make a slightly wider pocket and i'm literally just going to i'll show you i'll show you what i'm gonna do i know what i mean um so yeah i'm gonna get my scoreboard now i've not used this to score with much i've not had it very long so i need to fold, uh, open it so i can get the stupid knife thing out so I only literally want to score about half an inch, I suppose, from the end. This is what I don't like. The half inch, the inch, it's too far away from me. I've got to lean right over it to see what I'm doing. So let's take it at half an inch. And let's do that all the way around. It's just weird, it's got like a, a ball on the end of it, you know. Then, I'll put this away. It's lovely that I got given that for um, Christmas from my eldest. Now, I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors. And I'm just, I wanna get rid of these corners, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut at an angle across the um, the 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 where the score lines cross. <laughs> I'll get there in a minute. Uh, so I'm going to come in at an angle like so, and then another angle like so. I'm not very good at cutting angles when I'm trying to be all clever about it. Okay, now, now what you want to do is you want to fold your your um, scores and burnish them. I prefer this bone fold. I don't like doing it that way. I like to use the edge of something. So I go like that. When you come to glue this in your journal, 
you want to do it so that you glue your sides and then your bottom yeah so put your sides down and then glue that into place because if you do it the other way when you slide something in it might get caught on the bottom and not go down properly so put your sides in and then the bottom bit i'm also going to ink this because i like the um slightly tatty look and i've done it upside down but oh well no actually do you know what that is going to bug the hell out of me so i'm just going to make sure direction of paper pay attention my other my only other bugbear with this is that this bit here is not flat like that it's at an angle and if you push too hard you just end up going up the angle yeah so let's just check i'm about to cut the right piece off yeah when you don't plan it properly now I've got a flip and shallow pocket well, there you go so burnish it and cut your corners off we will edge all of this up but I'm also gonna cut a notch out of the top just so it's obvious that it's a pocket I mean I know it's gonna be obvious that it's a pocket this is here for a reason, by the way. And really because I am that annoying about this kind of thing. That's about the middle. Because, you know, it would bug me if it's not straight, just like it would bug me. Right, and then you put it in about halfway and measure it up about halfway in the middle, like so. Now, I'm gonna ink it all up. with um, Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. You also actually want to cut this bit. It just makes things that little bit smoother sliding in. You won't see it because it will be inside the envelope. And then you have your pocket. So don't forget, do your sides and then your top. I'm just going to use some tape, I think, to stick that in. I'll do, this is, um, this is, I don't know how, how big this is. This is half an inch wide uh, tape. I've seen people do that and they do this perfect cut and I'm like, yeah, I fucked it up. I also need some decent um, scissors, actually. See, I, could, I don't get anywhere near the end, but there you go. Never mind. Burnish that all down. If you are like me and you are bad at this, trim off any excess pieces. <laughs> right. Yeah, so this is going to go in the front of my journal journal. Not my planner, in front of my actual journal. Fold your side bits and then your bottom bit, yeah? So that sticks to that bit. Turn the whole thing over. Place it roughly where you want it to be. There you go. So now, so I'm going to use these to make up the word that I want. My only bugbear with those is they don't stay together very well. This is just um, coffee dyed paper or tea dyed paper. One or two, I can't remember which. 
and then I'm just tearing it just to give it that rough look and then again and your ink as well come a little bit onto the page otherwise it just it looks like you've just inked it rather than it actually looking more um, genuine I suppose <laughs> and then I'm just going to stick that oh come on on to here like so just using a good old glue stick you can use any glue but I find glue stick works reasonably well just like to get it all wet make sure there's a good layer of glue on there so now what I can do is for example this receipt here which was the spider thing you saw just now and one of the toys can be tucked away in there and it's perfectly safe I've got another receipt floating around but it's disappeared in all the chaos that is my desk I think that's it <laughs> yes that is it there so I inadvertently cut you off yes I did find the receipt and um, it's now the next day it's uh, Sunday now and uh, here comes Daryl. Morning. And uh, yeah. I'm just going to toilet. There's my pocket all done. I've got receipts in there that I can find and pull out. Um, this was a receipt for Alex's birthday present and um, some alphabet fridge magnets that we found. Okay, so what else are we going to do? I'm going to do a journaling page for yesterday. Um, I had a little bit of a an arty thing go on yesterday I took the um, took the book into the other room and had a go at drawing this was a picture that showed up on I think it was on Facebook and I screenshotted it to try and copy it now I don't you know I hubbed it hard over it and I wasn't madly in love with it but I'm quite pleased with how it looks now I'm looking at it again this morning sort of thing you know the only thing I'm not pleased about is the eye isn't quite but you know I'm just gonna leave that so yeah uh, it the the words because I, I don't know if it's coming up for us says let me love you a little more before you're not little anymore and I'm gonna do that in calligraphy across it but we'll do that another day right so for today i uh i've got to do another book review because i finished this book and same as last time i'm going to use my brown paper bag because i quite enjoy how that looks on it so i think i'm just going to tear this down the outside fold Or cut it because my tearing ability seems to have gone completely out the window lately. Just to make it easier to use this bag. I'm gonna have to get more peg bags at this rate because I'm going through this at a rate of knots. I love the fact that these literally just fold over and stick down. If you're very careful. I've got some white bags as well that I tea dyed. So I can use those as well if I need to. So what I'm going to do is put this here and do it across like that, I think. Because that looked awesome last time. I am going to go right up to the fold with the edge of my bag, crease there, just so I know roughly how much to do, 
sorry if the light's not great i decided not to put the overhead light on today because it's only 10 o'clock in the morning well 10 45. you know don't don't worry if you get glue stick on other parts of your page because it will um you can sort of rub it off it's quite quite cool like that so there's a bit of glue stick there and if you just rub it Awesome, awesome. Now I like a bit of texture so I don't get it completely flat. That looks quite good. Okay, and now all you need to do is cut it out. I use smaller scissors, not my huge scissors. I don't know why, I just find them a little bit easier when I'm doing something fine. So just literally cut around. And even like, I went over on my glue stick, um, on my brown paper bag with my glue stick, and that'll dry. And then you can just use it again later. Yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> when I was hunting for that receipt yesterday, I actually lent on my mouse. This is a failing of mine because my mouse is here. It is literally right next to me and I keep leaning on it. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. And I'm also going to try not to lean on the keyboard because I think if I press space or something, that also um, cancels it. And then just check to make sure that you've not got any like on the corner there and all across the top I've missed. So, let's turn that around. I actually don't have an awful lot of room to work with. I realised this yesterday when I tried to wrap birthday presents for people on my desk. I literally have the width of my glass mat and that's it. My desk is one of those um, Calyx sticky out desks. It fits on a, on a Calyx unit. Um, well, I like it. It is just not that way. It's just not wide enough. I can't manoeuvre very well. So, yeah. Okay. Now, we are going to... And any time I get crafting, I just don't have enough room. And it all gets in the way. It's ridiculous. Right. Now, let's grab out the stencil. So, I'm going to put today's date on it even though the book was finished a couple of days ago i'm gonna stamp because this is what i actually meant to do last time i'm gonna stamp book review across the top so give me a few minutes and i will be back okay <laughs> so i got it in there um i then i remembered when i did my little stars down i just went back to check on the other one and i hadn't actually colored the stars in for the review well that one got five stars that one only got four it was nothing against the book um it was good it just wasn't as gripping as the first one was to me yeah while i loved it i'm eager to sort of listen to more in the series it didn't grip me like the first one did it, it was still like oh i've got to, i've got to keep listening out you know i want to find out who did it and all of that lot but not as much okay so it is time for the rest of today in my boo journal isn't it really because i haven't done anything on that 
So let's jump to my Instagram tracker now. I haven't filled it in for quite a while. So let's jump to Instagram so that I can make sure that I'm colouring in and checking off the right things. Now, did I post my finished week two? I did. What day did I do that? I did that yesterday. Now, that one. Oh, crack is it? It's okay. I haven't actually used my trackers or anything for ages. It's like, ah! So the 24th was Friday. Now, Friday, let's try and think what I did on Friday. Because I didn't, I, did I journal? I don't think I did. Oh yes, I went down and journaled down the road, cleaned up down the road. Did I do any challenges at all? I know I did the flamingo. Yeah, I did the words. 24th, you are... Yeah, so I did the challenges. Okay, so we can do that. I had a drink Friday night because my second son came around for dinner, which was quite nice. I did not have chips because I made bolognese. I did craft and we did some homework. And I checked my meds. Oh, I'm on the wrong fucking one. Day face cream makeup. Challenges one can or less. That was booze. Oops. I did have booze. So, chips, craft, homework, meds, night care routine. Let's do this all in one go. So, there goes my pen. Friday was Friday was a good day. Yesterday was okay. We went shopping and we had a good day out. Me and Daryl yesterday. Uh, Friday was there. Yesterday was there. My feet are cold. I've not got any socks on. So I did Insta in progress was last night. Week two was, yeah, I must have done that one on Friday. It's a bit hard to tell because Instagram just goes, oh, you posted this two days ago. And I'm like, yeah, but what date is that? It would be a lot easier if you actually showed me the date. There you go. Okay, that's it. Right, okay, okay. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. And Friday we watched Picard. Okay, so, to Japan. So yesterday was Saturday and I posted my Instagram in progress shot. So yesterday I wore day face cream or any makeup. I did not do any challenges. I had more than one can but I did not have booze. I had chips. I crafted. We did not do any homework. I think I forgot my meds yesterday. It happens from time to time. Don't beat yourself up about it when it does. I know my legs were bad last night. I couldn't sleep. Okay, so let's put a card. I love this deck, I really do. I'm, I'm loving it. The more I'm using it, I just fall in love with it more and more. Okay, so we're gonna pull it for, to, we're gonna do, do it for today. I know I'm actually jumping ahead here because I haven't finished doing the um, Saturday. We'll do it in a sec. Otherwise, I'm going to totally, totally fucking confuse myself. Okay, so that I've already filled in. So I need sleeping steps for yesterday. Now, I know you were all expecting a live today, but. Um, we're off to a birthday party today and it's going to be somewhere where it's loud and because it's children and it's noisy and I'm really not in the mood. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, sorry about that. But um, I'm going to do the February setup in a video. I'm not going to do it as a live. 
We went shopping and I got Austin a gift. Okay, so today's Pam. So tonight I need to post the mood and pain trackers. So today, so far, I haven't done anything. I'm literally sitting here in my dressing gown. 20 past 11 I haven't done fuck all. Right, so let's do that card of the day. I could actually do today's, because I pull for tomorrow, don't I? So I could actually do today's. Let's do it, fuck it. Let's do it, same deck, and I'll just... I'll pull today's card first and then tomorrow's card in a minute. Yeah, so I've sketched out for February. Um, and I would, I'd, I think I'd sort of like to hype lapse it and then go through it that way. So today's card, being as it's sort of, you know, the beginning of the day rather than the end of the day, which is when I normally tend to film. So today's card is the Eight of Wands. Right, um, the Eight of Wands, it, Wands are all about um, in intellect in, in your head and all that. Lot. And this, this is, there's a lot going on. This is a very busy, busy card. There's lots of movement and that's what this card is all about. So you've got here, the house has been sold, okay? Um, she's obviously getting ready. She's having a quick chat with the postman about, or the mailman, as you call them in the States. Um, I love that this is an English card. This is Royal Mail, this is England. So the design is obviously English. I didn't know that, which is fab. Um, little boy's got his suitcase already. He's got airplane in his hand. The dog's running, the boy's running. The butt, the um ladybug is flattering about and it is full on like moving now it doesn't necessarily mean moving home it could mean that things in your life are starting to progress that little bit more quickly i do have somebody in mind uh while i'm looking at this card i must admit um you've recently moved sweetie um i think you know who you are by me saying that things are going to move for you now and it might feel like it's a bit quick and it's a bit out of your control maybe but do you know what think on how you can make the best of your situation because i know it's it's, it's not the best situation in the world but there's a silver lining to every cloud things are moving forward for you okay go with it go with it all right it's going in the right direction and you literally just jumped into my head as I started talking. So you should know who you are. And I really hope you see this. So I might message you to say you need to um, you need to watch it. Right, Eight of Wands. So tomorrow's card is going to be that one. <laughs> another ones and it's all gung-ho again look okay so we've got another wand this is cool and i think this is maybe a message to the same person ones are all about passion fire goals moving forward yeah um also if you want in time frames ones are sort of summertime um like between the first of june to the end of august be brave that's what this card is saying be brave forge ahead you're going in the right direction okay you're the goal that you are aiming towards look for it to maybe come together in this in the summertime okay so what i've written for the past two days um for yes uh, well for today yesterday yeah, no, for today, because I pulled today's card, yeah. Uh, movement. Life is moving forward. It might seem fast, but go with the flow. Look for silver linings. And then be brave and go for it. Don't hold back. Forge ahead. Things are looking good for summer. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, we've done that. So let's get into today. I'm all turned around now. So yeah, last night was a bit bad and I 
it took me ages to go sick. My legs were playing me up and I was just restless and I couldn't settle. Not so I went out, I went out like a fucking light, but it, yeah, it just, it took me a while, you know. And then my feet got cold and that made my legs ache. It sets my um, Ellis Diamonds off. And it was just like, oh. Okay, so I'm just going to draw some borders around all of this and then we will forge on ahead. I am really, really pleased with how well I've been doing on my steps, actually. <coughs> I've managed to keep it so I get green every single day. I know we're only on like day 26 of the year, but I'm like... <laughs> um, again, today I can't actually mark anything off because I haven't done anything. So, Doctor Who is on tonight. Um, I need to do the work at Hudson Schools because I haven't done any of that. Alex is working 10 till 4, he's at work. So I need to see whether any of those payments have yet gone out. And I need to sync my planners. It doesn't look like I actually have anything to write in here except that it was it's Rob's birthday in April. Rob is my daughter's partner. And that's about the only thing I need to actually write in here. So on April the 19th, by the look of things. So I will write it in her colour and then I will know who that is. <laughs> oh dear. Here we go. 25, gosh. There we go. That's good. Go in the pocket. Ordered a new pen case. So that's coming tomorrow and I will do a review video on that, on the size of it and how easy it is to use on such a cluttered small desk as mine. <laughs> um, right, so the only thing I have left to do is to actually draw in um, challenges for today, which are Quality. See, I didn't do yesterday's. I didn't do fairness yesterday. So I need to do fairness and equality. Live your authentic story. Give wings to your creativity. I'm not going to fit all this in. A snow globe and hot cocoa. Something red. Well, there you go. There's Spider Man. So that's the something red. And desserts. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to loop that all under one thing and that's going to be the hot cocoa. So I'm going to do some sketching and then I will be back. <laughs> there's I, I yeah I've crammed a lot on there um what I'm gonna do is we're off to the party later and I will stick in journaling around that 
I also have a photo to put up, but um, I don't have any room for it. So that'll have to go in tomorrow because a photo is just not going to fit. I don't know. It's just not going to fit in anywhere unless I print off a half one and then it might. About that size. Fit that in there, I suppose. then I won't have any room for journaling so I will save the photo and we'll stick it in another day it's a bit cramped but that's fine I don't mind that I might even stick a journaling card actually because I've got some big journaling cards because I bought that Tim Holtz pack so I've got like I've got little ones and then some square ones and then some slightly bigger ones then I've got the really long ones which are quite good I quite like those so I might use some of those I have got this set but I'm saving this set because I've got the paper pack for this as well and I've used one or two but I actually want to save those because you know I might oh, I could use one of these I suppose These four by six. I wonder if I could print an actual four by six photo instead of doing it on a sprocket. Actually, print a bigger photo and then stick it on. Yes, they are. That's what I'm going to do then. Some little vellum pieces in there. Did see those? I'm gonna have to order some ink, and then I can put a photo of Daryl on here and glue that in, like so. I might do it that way, and then I can write about going out over the weekend and that. Yeah, I might do that. I need to order some ink. <laughs> I need to look into that. There's that instant ink thing with Amazon, isn't there? But I don't know anything about that. So, um, I'm going to have to see if I can find some app about that. I definitely need to make a bigger ephemera folder. The issue I've got is that I can't actually get to my sewing machine because there's a big chair behind it and it's in pieces and I... It's a long story. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do there. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to leave this here. We're off to um, go and have a party. Yes. Daryl, could you come in and say goodbye to everybody for me? What's the face for? What? What's the matter? You want them to stay. You want them to say No, I'm recording, they're not on now. I'm doing a video that I'm gonna put on the internet and I'll say people have got to, everybody's got to leave you lots of kisses, isn't that right? Yeah, but why is there no handle on? Because the handle bit wasn't on that bit. Oh But that's your spider bike, isn't it? Yeah and that. And where does the handle bit go? In that hole there? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's it, cool. That's the best bit of the whole thing is this thing that shoots a flipping. I thought he'd love the bike, but he'd barely played with it. It's been the flipping. Yeah, and let me show you something. No, don't fire it and hear it will go everywhere. Go on, off you go. So, yeah, give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Right, so what have we got to say to everybody? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Why? Because you need to. Because we like comments. Yeah. What else do we like? Hmm. Kisses. Kisses. We like kisses. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And if you of click kisses. the bell, the squad's down below, you'll know if you when know I get new, new content. Yes, and don't forget to click the book to subscribe first. That's the book down there yeah. in the corner. Below. 
Yes, and then click the bell that appears down below. Mwah. Lovely. Right, we're off because we've got to go and get ready for our party, haven't we? Yeah, but I still need to watch all of the Tom and Jerry. I haven't watched all of it. I watched some of it because this is why I was planning to take some off my list because there's some pies I had to go to and I can't go to because I can't because I've got to go to uh, Austin's today yeah and um, I had to go to the park and I can't go in to anybody's party's house because I've got something strange to do something strange eh? Mm, there you go right so we will see you next time have a fantastic rest of your day and um, hope you have a good weekend bye we'll be back hopefully tomorrow with bye. another Today Library Journal take it easy guys bye